Paddy Pimlet versus Jared Gordon just took place last night in the co-main event of UFC 282. Blahovich versus Ankalaev. This might be a 17-minute video, but Paddy Pimlet won a unanimous decision, 29-28 on all cards over Jared Gordon. And honestly, Jared Gordon won this fight. He did. He did. He won this fight, man. I do believe so. Watching it back and watching it live, I think he beat Paddy Pimlet. And I think he's a better fighter than Paddy Pimlet by far. Even if there's some Paddy idiots out there and Paddy fanboys out there that think Paddy won, you have to admit he is fucking Garbage at fighting. He is fucking shit. And this was a hype train derailment. His hype's done. He just lost a fight. Or he just looked fucking garbage out there. Skill wise. Paddy lost. I do believe he lost this fight. And two of the judges. Gave him round one. I think round one's a clear. Jared Gordon. Jared Gordon. um, Round. Jared Gordon clearly won this fight in round one and three. And maybe round two, but it's an argument for Paddy Pimlet to win round two. But still. Jared Gordon could have won this fight 30-27. He could have. He honestly could have. I'm going to go to the scorecards right now. Um, Give me one second here. UFC scorecards. UFC scorecard. Official for all 12 fights. Uh, they can't be, um, who scored Patty round one? Doug Crosby should be fucking fired. Bitch. Fuck him. Chris Lee Smart. Ron McCarthy's an idiot. Idiot. God, man. Who scored? Those idiots, Doug Crosby and Ron McCarthy, should be fired immediately. Paddy Pimlet didn't win. He didn't. He just didn't. I, I, I'll I keep it calm here, but Paddy Pimlet lost his fight. And I was surprised. Like, I said Gordon was looking, was going to do good, uh, go heavy early on, you know. Land some takedowns here and there, and he did later on in the fight. But Pimlet, man, his stand-up is just not there. And he could improve and come back, but he's going to need real striker tra- striking trainers and real, like, strikers that can, like, teach him here and there. If he don't have that, he's done. He is done. And I... Jared Gordon, he says he won the fight and he got robbed. I think this was a robbery. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to straight up say it. O'Malley Yan, people compare this to O'Malley Yan. Shut the fuck up. All right, that is completely different. Gordon was winning on the feet early on. Jan was doing the same, but he was grappling more with O'Malley. Gordon wasn't really grappling here and there early on. Round one is the clearest round ever. Paddy clearly lost round one. Round one, he was getting tagged on the feet. Gordon was winning the striking battle against Paddy Pimlet. He was tagging him up, landing shots here and there. Landing shots on Paddy's chin. Paddy's so fucking lucky he has a solid chin. I mean... I think these guys lay him out still, but he's lucky Gordon's shit. And I'll say it, Gordon looks shit as well here. But Gordon was winning the striking battle. And at the end of the round, to solidify the round, took down Paddy Pimlet. Took him down. And he won the round. If you give Pimlet round one, go fuck off. Oh, YouTube. You fucking strict bitch. Sorry, don't get me dumb. Don't get me demonetized, please. Um, go. Pimlet clearly lost round one. He clearly lost round one. Round two. I think Gordon was winning it, but Paddy had a combination at the end of the round, so that's kind of a toss-up round. I don't mind it going Paddy, but watching it back again, Gordon can win it. That's a toss-up round. Round three, Paddy was landing shots against the cage, but he was getting held against the cage the whole time. 
you know, knee to the thigh, shots here and there from Jared Gordon. And what do you matter more? Paddy landing shots and Gordon on knees to the thigh and shots himself. While Gordon's holding him against the cage and having the control time, clinch control. Gordon wins round three. He won round one and three. He wins the fight. Gordon <clears throat> Gordon wins that fight. Round two can be his as well. That's a toss-up round. But who cares? He lost one and three, clear. And Jared Gordon loses. Ridiculous. And people are going to be Team Gordon here now. Um, yeah, Patty just didn't win that fight. He just didn't. He just didn't. But, um, yeah. Patty didn't win that fight. He just didn't win that. Patty lost that fight. That's not even why I'm just mad. He just is look. Oh, my God, man. This was a hype train derailment. Even if he won. Even if he actually, like, like, like if there's some people out. Even the weasel broke it down. Play by frame by frame. Play by play. And even then, Pimlet lost. Lost in his opinion. He thought Gordon won. The weasel. You know? He broke it down. Like, who really won type thing, you know? A lot of people thought he won. A lot of people thought Jared Gordon won. Embarrassing for Patty. Absolutely embarrassing. Holy shit. He looks shit either way as well. I know McGregor's giving Patty credit, but fuck off, you both of you. You both of you clowns. McGregor should just stop. I mean, McGregor, I don't know. McGregor, he's trained Patty because they're around the same area, but still. Paddy, I think, loses too. I'll go through everyone. He loses to everyone. Even he, he'd probably lose to Ferguson. Let's be real. He could hold down Ferguson, but... Pimlet shit. Shit striking. Good chin. See, he has a good chin, and he has good jiu-jitsu here and there. You know? I'll go through he loses to. So he loses to... Islam Akashev, Charles Oliveira, Dustin Poirier, Benil Dariush, Justin Gaethje... Uh, Michael Chandler, Mateus Gamera, Rafael Fiziev, um, Armin Saruki, and Jalen Turner, Demir's Magulov, Hanato Moicano, Drew Dober, Grant Dawson. He could beat Grant Dawson. Grant Dawson's quite, eh, but loses to Hooker, loses to Gillespie, loses to Green, loses to Moises, loses to Alvarez. Oh, Joel Alvarez? Joel Alvarez? Imagine what you would do to him. He'd fucking slice up Patty like it's bitch. He'd lose to Close, he'd lose to Riddell. He'd lose to Graham. He'd lose to Fahaya. Could beat Madsen. He could beat Madsen, maybe. And he could beat Riddell as well, maybe, as well. But he'd probably lose on the feet. Um, and that's where he is, 25. Who loses? And, yeah. McKinney KOs him as well. And he could beat Puelas, because Puelas is shit. But he beats a few guys. Does he beat Grant Dawson? I don't know. Probably. Outscraps Dawson. Probably. Outscraps Dawson. That's about it. That's about it. And I doubt they'll make that fight. Did He probably loses to... I think Dracar Close beats him by KO. Paddy's shit, man. He is shit. What a shit fighter. I cha- My opinion on him changed massively. Jordan Levitt should be fucking punching the wall right now, man. What a loser. And even then, Paddy kneed him in the head. And then turned the back. Other than that, he was fucking getting... Kind of out manhandled by by Jordan Levitt, fuck's sakes. He's shit. Kazula Vargas is trash. Luigi Vendermini is trash. Paddy Penelope should be ashamed. What a fucking shit fucking fighter. He's a shit shiker. He just outscraps these guys here and there because he has a good chin. But fight... If he lowers down and fights like a Mark Madsen, fuck off. Not even hyped. Hopefully you get booed. Fuck Patty. And people are gonna be against him now. And I I'm I'm I like Patty Pimlet, but it's just he's just and he's so fucking delusional about it. Say something like like he's saying like he won easily and he wasn't worried about the decision. 
saying something, if I would respect Paddy a lot more if he said, oh, I was very close. I thought I could have got the edge, but respect to Jared Gordon. Oh, I should have arguably lost the fight. Respect to Jared Gordon. But he's saying he won easily. He's turning heel, and it's pissing me off. This is how you lose fans, bitch. Let's be real. I know you could come back off the win and prove everyone wrong, but you could arguably... Let's be real. Nate Diaz just fucks him up on the feet. Let's be, if Nate was still in the UFC, Nate like just fought Paddy, Nate probably just wins. Paddy ain't doing shit to Nate. <clears throat> Nate's got a good chin, and Paddy doesn't have much power in his hands. He's shit. What a shit fighter. If you ever want to be anything... Anything, even a top 15 fighter, even a top 10 fighter, if you want to be anything, put Jared Gordon out. And I'm not just going to show on Patty. Jared Gordon looks shit as well, but he won against Patty. He should have won that fight. He really should have. He really should have just won against Patty. But no. No, Patty, he should have. Uh, he just. No, what did I say? He should have. He he should have just lost to Paddy. But no, he arguably won the fight and he should have won the fight and it was a robbery. Whatever. Paddy fans come at me. We'll argue in the comments for weeks if we need to. I'm in that mood where we can just go back and forth in comments every hour, every hour, every hour, every hour. Come at me. Come at me. Yeah. Um Paddy should have lost. Simple as that. Paddy lost that fight. Paddy should have lost. What a fucker. No. What an idiot. He's so shit at fighting. He loses. To he should fight Grant Dawson if he needs any other chance. So if he's smart, except if fight Grant Dawson, everyone else beats him. Drew Dober would just fucking light him out cold. Paddy's done. He can fluke on. He can fluke his way to the top, but we're always gonna remember this one. Should have lost to Jared Gordon. Arguably three zero. Round two could be his, whatever. But while rounds one and three are fucking clearly Gordon, especially round one. Round three is a bit closer, but round one is clear Gordon. And I just don't trust. I just don't trust Paddy. He thinks his striking's very good. He didn't shoot a takedown in that fight. Until like he it was like competitive and scrappy, but he his plan I think was actually just go to go out there and just put Jared Gordon out, and it kind of backfired. It did backfire. He lost that fight, and he has no hype now. I know people out there. I know he, he I know he technically won, but you can also win and have a hype train derailment. That's the thing. Jemayev, you can say whatever about Jemayev, but he actually won against Burns. And, listen, yeah, Patty arguably lost to fucking Jared, Jared fucking Gordon. It sounds so ridiculous. Patty Pimlet. If this was like a Demir's Magulov, fine. He can get better, whatever. He arguably lost to Demir's Magulov, whatever. But this is Jared Gordon, who Grant Dawson easily subbed, who Charles Oliveira easily beat, Joaquin Silva, who's just chinny as hell. Easily beat. Jared Gordon's not good. And he arguably won this. Yeah. Good stuff from Jared Gordon. He should have arguably won this fight. He should have won this fight. I don't know why I'm saying arguably. Should have won this fight. Paddy's not good. Imagine Paddy versus Matt Favola. Back, like, fucking two months ago, I was saying Paddy could just sub him on the ground or something. Or Paddy could just KO him. Favola light, lights him. Favola would light him out cold. That's, oh, that's how shit Paddy is. Whoa. His best bet is to look at Tony Ferguson. That's what I do. Tony Ferguson. Because he can't just keep fighting no names. I mean, Jared Gordon. I mean, to me, I was, I'm a hardcore fan. So I know all of them, really. But the casuals didn't know who the fuck Jared Gordon was. Let's be real. They knew kind of who Jordan Levitt was. But because uh, of his good slam win over Matt Wyman. But no one who. Gordon's no one. He's boring. And this wasn't even fun. Have a fun fight on top of it. Boring. Performance. 
Paddy just lost everything. Oh, man. He's done. He's done. He's done. Matt Frivola would KO him. These guys would put him out. McKinney would fucking light him out cold. Probably sub him. Let's be real. McKinney probably takes him down. Fucking arm triangles him or something. I don't mind that. Paddy's nothing, man. He's a jiu-jitsu nerd. He's nothing. He's worthless now. And he thinks he won. And Dana White. Stop. Sigma. Stop. <laughs> Dana White can't get a fucking break. Out of anger, he fucking made Jamal Hill go over to Shara, which will come out later today. Fucking annoying, mum. Patty looks shit. He'll never be anything. He'll never be anything. Best bet, he, he's not going to get McGregor as well. McGregor's unranked, and they're complimenting each other. So they're not going to make that. And I'm not interested. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'll take a break from... I'd rather... A two... E- I, no, I'm not, I'm not going to be too dramatic here, but I couldn't give a shit about McGregor Pimlet. People that deserve McGregor. McGregor can just... That, all of that ruins McGregor, McGregor's legacy. Boom, 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 boom. Fine fucking Pimlet who'd lost to Jared fucking Gordon. Ferguson's his best bet, I think. But Ferguson's out welterweight. So what does he get? See, he's screwed. He's screwed. He's done. He needs to fight someone known now. And they're kind of good. Dan Hooker, he could fight. I don't know. What is he going to do now? I kind of want him to lose. And I can't wait to see him lose. Like, Moy Connor would light him out easily. But he'd take the back of Pimlet. Pimlet's shit, man. If he had a bad chin, dude, Gaethje. Oh, my fucking God. Imagine Gaethje against Pimlet. Gaethje would fucking brutalize him. Paddy thinks his striking's good. If he keeps trying to strike with people, he's going to get hurt badly. I don't want to see it because it's going to just... I'm just not even going to be shocked. It's just going to be like, well, it was going to happen. Jared Gordon was that guy, kind of. And that's Paddy's that's Patty's ceiling. Jared Gordon's is going to be his best win in the octagon. I can't believe that. Jared Gordon will be Paddy's best win. And it wasn't even a win. Wow, he's 27, I get it. And he's still young, but... Fight Tony... Ah, he should fight Ferguson or Hooker or Moicano. I doubt... Moicano fight seems good. I don't mind that. Because Moicano says he don't want to fight Dan Hooker in February and March. He says he's not ready enough. Yeah. Patty shit, man. Best bet is to look at Grant Dawson, which we, no one knows. Let's be, let's be real. And I doubt he'll get Grant Dawson because Dawson, James Krause, you know. You know what's happening. But, um, yeah. Um, I, don't know. I doubt he'll get Grant Dawson. I guess if Dober, if Bobby Green, Drew Dober winner can fight him, but. Those guys would light him up. So, my best bet with Patty. You can't look back down again, man. People are just going to go all over him for that again. Fight Tony Ferguson. That's what I'd do. But Ferguson's at 170. So, I'd, t- I'd call out Ferguson. See if he wants to come back down and fight Patty Pimlet. Yeah. That's the best bet. Can't look back down. He needs to fight someone known now. Maybe fight Dan Hooker, but he won't. Because Hooker wants to fight Australia. And Pimlet broke his foot here, apparently. Yeah. He's not good. He had good leg kicks, I guess, but... No, it wasn't really an effect on Gordon, let's be real. Pimlet's not good. He leaves his chin up. He will never learn until he gets knocked out. And that will happen. And he need to learn. He's not going to just... Put, like, it's just a bad habit. Bad habit. He can put his chin out all you want, but a few seconds later when he trades, his chin's up again. Chandler would fucking... I don't even know. Pimlet wouldn't be able to fight for a year, I bet you. Yeah, good win from Jared Gordon. You should have won this fight. Like and subscribe, thank you for watching. Pimlet versus Ferguson is the best bet. Or Moicano.
Because he could maybe chin Moicano. At, at, like, he ain't going to sub Moicano. And Patty shit on the feet. Striking defensively and and offensively. Like, yeah, it's good shot, but he's wild and scrappy. And Luigi Vendramini was just a bit of a pussy. So, yeah. Um, he's shit. He's not good. Moicano would easily beat him. Moicano or Ferguson? I'd look at Ferguson. Call out Tony Ferguson. And he could get respect there. But yeah, Tony Full Heel won't work. Him saying he won clearly was just fucking. That's just insane. He's delusional. What a loser. What a loser in Pimlet. With Chemayev, it was like, alright, Chemayev's a beast. You know, Shavkat's a beast. But this Pet Pimlet. Yeah, that changed me, man. I'm worried for him. He'll have to look lower down, but people will just make fun of him again. Okay, he's fighting no names. Not for me. I know them. I know who he's gonna. I know all the lower down fighters, but casuals are fucking gonna melt him. He arguably lost this. They're bad turn. People are now on bad. Casuals are now bad terms with Patty Pimlet. He's shit. He's shit, and he needs to get a ranked opponent. If he won this, he was gonna get a higher ranked opponent. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I think I'm, this was a long video. 21 minutes. Shit. Time's clicking. Yeah. Peace.